Alright, we need an Ibuki win to unlock the Zao. So that's what the vid's about. Let's go. Um I absolutely love I mean I love Azerlane. Otago. The incoming damage for cruisers plus ten percent though, like it does hurt. You know? It's it's quite the trade off, right? It's quite the trade off. So I thought, well, let's play a game. I mean you're picking up some resistance here, but I thought let's uh let's try let's try this build. Just something different. I usually run a Togo. But uh I and I like the torp detect ability with her too, because all these Japanese bows, torps do play a role, like um so yeah, let's let's try this. See what shakes out. Um, we might switch. Let's see what my range is here. Seventeen four. Yeah, you gotta have seventeen four. That's the minimum that I will ever play with with range, normally speaking. Um, so yeah. So anyway, let's try it. See if we can get a good game for you guys in the Ibuki here. It's a love-hate relationship with the Ibuki with me. The right, right matchup, right games. You can have some good, good games. It just can be tough. She blows up. Slightly better armor than uh, the lower, the, some of the other Japanese cruisers. Uh, I like I like the Otago out of them all, is my favorite, um, just because the forward facing torps allows allows a different type of gameplay. Um, but yeah, let's let's see what shakes out here. I've been trying to do like some off meta like different builds. Um, in my recent bid, so that's why I went Haruna instead of Otago, so we'll see what happens. Been getting a lot of short games lately, I don't know what's up with that, but... Sorry, destroyer. Uh, let's see what he does. Last game, we only had five players. I think the Christmas wave is wearing off. You know, people are playing their tier eight boats that they got and slowly finding out they're dying in them. And kind of not playing him as much, but I don't know. Let's see what this can do. The angles are just slightly better than the Some of the other boats, not as good as the Togo, but a little bit better than the Megami and the uh, Miyoto. Whoa. I know a lot of people like to play this boat at range, take a full range build on it, which, which is fine. Like. Far setting chance of being here, great. No, I can't go head to head on a Des Moines over here. He's running away, I guess, because of the radar. Potential radar. So I'm turning out too, because I got no spotting then. He's really thinking. I mean, he's still, he should still. He should still.
still probably uh, go out there and check things out because But hitting me. The wind's blind fires. Now, the question is, did he have a lock from before? Like how's he how's he doing that? Because that was so long after I was spotted. So maybe you guys can comment down below, please. What do you think about that situation in the game? I feel like that's the biggest problem in the game right now. These these after locks that are magical things that just seem to happen. So, yeah. These guns are looking right at me. I gotta wait to shoot. Hopefully we drag him into that Giuseppe, but... The ones over here. I'm trying to get a spot for him. Let's just chill here if we can, if we can stop in time. Can farm this guy a little bit. Prepared, so there's a Des Moines out there, Giuseppe. You just remember, yeah, I can't shoot now. This guy's gonna spot me. I gotta back up. Some detectability to me. I didn't see this guy. I didn't see the second boat, so I only seen the far ones. It's my fault. Well, the engine just gets folded, of course. So I'm in full kite here. Full fuck mode. Nothing I'm gonna be able to do here. ship it's uh, very very line up depending I gotta turn broadside to these guys or these guys plus I got the ones behind me See how's he still hit me for there with that move like for shooting no reason.
Yeah, it's more realistic, like, moving like that, you shouldn't be able to hit me. I guess I was... Let's try to get a permanent fire on that guy. He's your confederate. He's running, because he knows he doesn't need to be in this fight to prep for the win. There's a permanent fire on him, though. That's nice. Demoy's just waiting for us over here. Maybe try to get dark here. See if I get shot. I mean, we're losing. Right? Yeah, see? That, okay, that's the problem with the game right there. I'm dark for how long, guys? What's up with that mechanic in the game? Okay. What's up with that mechanic? So what, you just hold the lock? After they're not spotted? Right here. Okay. Horrible mechanic. Horrible mechanic. Just absolutely horrible. Like, how does that even work? I'm glad I got that on camera. Um, I'm going to post this vid just for that reason alone. Um, as you saw, the, the shot from the Des Moines was, was similar. Um, that was not a predictive shot. Yeah, I turned. He may have known the direction I was turning. That wasn't a blind fire shot. That was a locked on shot. Um, same as the Des Moines. Um, like how? How are they doing it? Are they cheating? Is there like a mechanic in the game that enables them to do it? I'd like to know. I'd like the answers from 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 Wargaming. Like I'd like to know. So yeah, I mean obviously we're we're shagged here. So, it's another example. You know, he went dark. Anyway, not a bad game out of the book. He just not a winning one. So, there's a look at that captain. Anyway, if you haven't seen him before, um, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah.